heartbreak in Houston. Anyone with a boat is at the ready to help stranded people. Those who make it out face more hurdles using boats to navigate dangerous water choked with debris. Rising floodwaters from Harvey are virtually swallowing up Houston, leading to hundreds of rescues. Good evening, Natasha is off. I'm Joe Holden. The mayor of Houston says they've received more than 2,000 calls for help. Some people are going against the tide. Instead of leaving, they're heading into the city to offer assistance. Where are you coming from? Texas City. Texas City? Yes, sir. What, 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 uh, what are you going to do? I'll go try to save some lives. The man loading up that boat said he brought eight people with him to help as many as he could get to higher ground. 911 call centers inundated with police for help have been overloaded. And this is the scene that continues to play out for people across the hardest hit parts of Southeast Texas. This woman pulled from a window of her Houston home after that water level rose so high the door would no longer open. Tonight she is safe. CBS News correspondent Kenneth Craig in Houston. Residential streets became a pathway for boats, rescuing people from flooded Houston neighborhoods as Tropical Storm Harvey inundates the region with water. It just came up. <laughs> it's been like a tsunami almost. Emergency crews have responded to thousands of calls with high water vehicles, boats, and helicopters. 94 year old Henrietta Bell was rescued with her daughter. We've been through floods, but nothing like this. Some residents used their own boats to rescue neighbors, but that wasn't always a safe option. Some were able to walk out on their own. We have a two story home, and on the first floor, it's up to here and all the furniture is just floating. This family spent the night under a freeway overpass after pushing through chest high water. You know, we may go back and everything is, is, is done for. By the time this man realized he was in danger, it was too late to save his truck or anything inside. He tried to get back inside as people on the overpass above yelled at him to forget it. Valencia Jenkins and her family walked barefoot from her apartment complex to this convention center that's now a shelter. Everything gone. All I got is pampers and wipes. This is some of the worst flooding Houston has ever experienced. Officials say they're not measuring the rainfall in inches anymore, but feet. This likely is going to be an historic rainfall, if not an all-time record. Harvey leveled parts of Rockport, Texas, when it made landfall Friday night as a Category 4 hurricane. Now it could dump four feet of rain on communities over the next few days. Kenneth Craig for CBS3 Eyewitness News, 